The asteroid, which had previously been predicted to pose a threat to Earth in 2029, was the ideal test subject. During its recent close encounter, the famed asteroid 9942 Apophis, which will make a close contact with our planet in 2029, was successfully rediscovered in a test to see if asteroid defense systems might identify a potentially dangerous near-Earth asteroid on its closest approach. All past information on Apophis was rendered unavailable during this asteroid defense exercise. This meant that, during the asteroid's near approach, which began in December 2020 and concluded in March 2021, astronomers had to start over from scratch. Would Apophis evade detection, or would our network of sky surveys be able to spot it? Hi guys! Welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we'll be taking a look at this asteroid that might hit Earth by 2029. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video, it helps us a long way. And let's dive in. The research, which involves more than 100 scientists from 18 nations, made extensive use of asteroid hunting surveys, which frequently check the sky for potentially dangerous asteroids. When it was originally found in 2004, Apophis generated a lot of controversy. A collision with Earth in 2029 or 2036 was not ruled out at the time due to insufficient knowledge of the asteroid's orbit. The B612 Foundation, a non-profit organization that funds research and technologies for mapping and navigating the solar system, made public the potential threat presented by Apophis, although more accurate calculations of its orbit have subsequently eliminated the chance of an imminent impact. In order to demonstrate the capacity to immediately recognize and then evaluate the threat posed by any upcoming finding of a potentially dangerous asteroid, astronomers were given the challenge to do this maneuver once more. The campaign, which was led by Associate Professor Vishnu Reddy of the University of Arizona's Lunar and Planetary Laboratory, dress tested the entire planetary defense response chain from initial detection to orbit determination to measuring the asteroid's physical characteristics and even determining if and where it might hit Earth, according to a NASA statement. Apophis was first discovered during the test by the Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona followed by detections from the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System Pan-STARRS in Hawaii and the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System Atlas, which has observatories in Chile, Hawaii, and South Africa. Among the most significant observations were from NASA's Near-Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer Near-Y Satellite, which utilized its thermal vision to precisely analyze the size and form of Apophis. They described Apophis as an extended object having a diameter of 886 to 1,345 feet. Scientists at NASA's Ames Research Center in California improved their estimation of the energy that would be released in the event that Apophis collided with Earth based on the data made by Neowise. According to their estimates, an impact would produce about 8.5 to 1,019 joules of energy, which is comparable to 20 million kilotons of TNT and 10,000 times more destructive than the 2013 Chelyabinsk meteor airbust above Russia. Although the harm caused by Apophis would be terrible, it wouldn't be severe enough to wipe out all human life on Earth. Instead, it would merely wreak terrible destruction on a local level. Apophis had been rediscovered as a new asteroid by December 23, 2020, according to the Minor Planet Center of the International Astronomical Union, which also lacks the data necessary to rule out an impact. There were significant uncertainties in the object's orbit that theoretically allowed an impact that year, according to David Fonochia, a navigation engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Even though we knew that, in reality, Apophis was not impacting Earth in 2029, starting from square one, there were large uncertainties in the object's orbit that allowed an impact that year, he said. The Goldstone Solar System radar in California was important in March 2021's attempts, which Farnochia headed to determine Apophis's orbit. With the help of this ground-based radar, 
the asteroid Apophis's orbit could be calculated with more accuracy. It also produced photos of Apophis and assessed its velocity and distance. Finally, with this information, it was possible to exclude a collision for at least the following 100 years or for the year 2029. Michael Kelly, a program scientist with NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, said in the statement that it was impressive to see the planetary defense community come together during the most recent close approach of Apophis. The exercise was a tremendous success because even during a pandemic, when many exercise participants were required to work remotely, we were able to discover, track, and learn more about a possible hazard with great efficiency. During its close approach to Earth in 2029, NASA's Osiris-Rex mission will stop at Apophis. In the meantime, the Neo Surveyor, Neowise's replacement, will launch in the middle of the decade. And let's get to know this asteroid we feared might strike us. On June 19, 2004, while working at the Kitt Peak National Observatory, Roy A. Tucker, David J. Tholin, and Fabrizio Bernardi made the discovery of Apophis. 2004 MN4 was the designation given to the object at the time. Technical problems and adverse weather circumstances limited the team's ability to observe the asteroid to just two days, but subsequent observations swiftly uncovered a plethora of information about the object. In 2005, the name of the asteroid was changed to Apophis, which is the Greek name for an old Egyptian symbol of evil, a serpent that lives in the shadows and regularly tries to eat the sun god Ra as he travels through the sky at night. Binzel was a member of a team that employed reconnaissance telescopic observations to quantify the color characteristics of Apophis and ascertain its composition in the same year that it was given a new name. The team discovered that the asteroid is similar to the ordinary chondrites, which are meteorites mostly made of silicates and stone and are the most prevalent types of meteorites. According to NASA, Apophis is categorized as an S-type or stony-type asteroid and contains a mixture of metals, including iron and nickel. Its shape is thought to resemble that of a rocky space peanut and is thought to be elongated with two lobes. Apophis has been stored in the asteroid belt for 4.6 billion years and may be a fragment of a larger asteroid that split apart in a collision there, according to Binzel. Apophis is a piece of an early solar system planetismo a planetary building block that never coalesced into one of our solar system's planets, he said. The component we call Apophis may have been sent on a route by the impact that led to its current orbit, which is very close to Earth. When scientists realized how near to Earth the asteroid's orbit would bring it, the exhilaration of Apophis's discovery rapidly gave way to concern. In 2029, there was a 2.7 possibility that the BHA will strike Earth, according to calculations made from visual observations made in 2004. The next year, radar observations helped to improve these probabilities. The Torino scale, developed by Binzel, and the Palermo Technical Impact Hazard Scale, two methods astronomers use to determine how dangerous an asteroid is to our planet, gave Apophis the highest values. These estimates may seem low, but they were still extreme enough to give Apophis the highest values. The likelihood of Apophis colliding with Earth in 2029 was all but eliminated by 2006, but subsequent collisions, notably in 2068, could not be readily ruled out. According to David Farnochia, an astronomer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, who was researching the asteroid's trajectory, the track of Apophis following its flyby in 2029 will depend on how Earth's gravity alters the asteroid's orbit. According to Farnochia, if Apophis went through particular gravitational keyholes, the gravity of the Earth would modify its orbit by precisely the right amount, or should I say the incorrect amount, to place it on a collision course in a later year. Further progress is ruling out a 2068 impact was not made since astronomers were unable to monitor Apophis from 2015 to 2019 because it was too close to the Sun and was consequently blocked by its light output. Thus, it appeared as though the asteroid was almost obstinately resolved to live up to its doomsday moniker. 
Fonochia and his colleagues decided to take on the issue head-on and better determine the asteroid's track in order to establish whether it would impact Earth in 2068 when it moved away from our stars once more and could therefore be better detected. It is difficult to predict what would happen if our planet collided with an asteroid of the size, shape and density of Apophis. Nothing comparable to it has ever occurred in the history of our planet's geology. All other impacts have been either far greater, like Chicxulub impact that occurred 66 million years ago, or much smaller. When assessing the damage that could result from such a collision, there are numerous more considerations that must be taken into account. These variables include the asteroid's size, density and mass, as well as the angle and speed of the impact. And that ends our episode. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below with your own thoughts and don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.